in the Southwest, which was much less populated back then. Back in 1894, Flagstaff was evidence of an expanding universe. Some consider this to be some of the most important research in all of astronomy. And you can see the spectrograph attached in the photograph there. You'll also get to see that instrument on the Now, the next night will be open is one, uh, what is today? Sunday? Tomorrow night. And if it's not too windy, I think that's our number one concern this time of year. The spring in Flagstaff, which means wind. And when the wind's above 15 miles a year today, so once you have your IVs in and your lens cover off, next time we need to get a view of the night sky and help you to open up those black side doors that you see there. And like I said, those will open up outward. It takes about 20 minutes to get them open, so I want to demonstrate that for you now. But the top doors open up with a working pulley system and the vertical Enter that star with your telescope, first using your finder scope. I have several of those, and your finder scope gives you a wider field of view with less magnification. Once you have it centered in there, it should be right down there. Begin to look for deep space objects, objects you can't readily see with the naked eye. These are very faint objects as well. So you look for your objects, you find your get your coordinates set up to the correct modern this is uh, part of the drive that works with the motor for the lens cover. And then, of course, now we have a clock drive. So the telescope is equipped to compensate for Earth's rotation throughout the night. Once I have it set up on the object I want to view, I lock everything down, hit my clock drive. That's that hum that you hear. So the telescope is equipped to compensate for Earth's rotation throughout the night.